uh, yeah, the commercial work. And um, so, Go ahead. I, no, I, I, Alan, are you talking about Alan? B? Uh, so I am not, I don't, I don't, I'm not aware of the brand, but is Alan Bika? Yes. Is that, am I saying it right? Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. All right. Off to a good start. Alan Bika. So I saw the commercial that you had for them on uh, your Instagram or no. Yeah. It was on your Instagram. Let me to the YouTube uh, mm-hmm. video of it. And you're right. You do have that you do have that energy about you that works for different things like that, because I don't, I mean, it was a, it was a great commercial. It was fun. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. But it's such a, uh, it's such a careful balance that you have to walk as an, as a, as someone who's trying to make it in acting, because on one hand, you have to have this, you have to have this ego and pride about yourself in order to pull yourself into the next audition from the last rejection but at the same time, you have to keep the ego in check to be able to know that there's there's like steps to, you know, you have to pay the bills in the meantime. So right, um, right. if you could speak on that as a as as an actress, someone that has done commercial work, the importance of of one just staying in practice, staying in front of a camera. But even if it's not this, you know, uh, the name in the in on the poster on the marquee type of role um a lot of the times those things pay the bills yeah um well uh what was the question <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 I heard a lot of yeah yeah the yeah. build-up was there and we were like go for it I'd say all that and say this um no, I guess the I guess the question is what that experience is like for you as a as someone who has been. I mean, you you've been in a Todd Phillips film as Martha Wayne, and then you. I, I mean, have you done a commercial since then? I've done one. No, okay. I, I promise I'm going to get to a question here. There's going to be a question <laughs> at the end of this. So, like, when you go back to a role like that after you're on a film, is there like how does that affect you as far as uh is there like a, an issue of pride that comes into play and how do you how do you work with that oh no issue of pride whatsoever at all i mean from to get a job is amazing i mean and mm-hmm. in, in, even in commercial work when you go um on an audition for a commercial or even self-tape first i mean pre-covid i would go into the city and at nine o'clock, I'd look on the sheet and I had a four o'clock appointment at nine o'clock. They had, you know, people in 10 minute increments. So, well, first, right when I see that, I'm like, God, you know, I don't, what are the chances? So you never know. So you just, and I think that like humbles you a bit that you're just like, okay, well, whatever. I'm just going to be me, give it my all. And we'll just see what happens. Like it's, Mm -hmm. it's truly out of your hands. Yeah. It really is. I mean, every everyone that's going in into these auditions are um, they're good, and they put on a facade like they're confident, mm-hmm. and a facade. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> they're, they're really good at what they do in front of the camera. So you know, everyone is. So it's just whatever they're looking for at that time.